I heard the renegades killed a group of children. Who will stop those monsters? Carrier here. Here's a message. Thank you. Well, it's about time. Um, pardon? It's from my boyfriend. He's finally leaving his wife. Ah, congratulations. My wife and I separated months ago. She was very understanding. I'm just glad Len finally got the courage to be honest to his wife. Now, we can get on with our lives. It's a shame he's such a booze hound. How you doing, pal? I'm looking for Josh. Why? Thick of your teeth? He not here. Thank God. I've never believed the Night Runners were real. Just fairy tales, if you ask me. You know what, Josh? I'm looking for him. Buy me a shot. Maybe I'll remember something. First info. Another shot and you'll be completely worthless. Josh, he gotta be swimming in booze somewhere around here. Either that or fist deep in someone's face. Aw, oh, don't act so offended. I was paying your tits a compliment. How about I pay your balls a compliment with my shoe? Everything all right? There you are. You aren't gonna admit it and dick for brains here starts hitting on me. Sorry, my dude. I, I was just making sure your girl was safe. So where is your boyfriend? At the bar, buying me a beer. Go ahead, buy yourself one too. Haven't seen you here before. Where are you from? Nowhere that matters. I'm looking for a friend. You ran across a guy named Josh. It's regular, I hear. Rings a bell. What do you want with him? Uh, just swap stories of our love lives. Could swap a few of those myself. But sure, if I see him, I'll let you know. Take care. Hey, your beer. No worries. I got it. Living the high life, aren't you? I heard you mention Josh. Try the roof, man. The way he smacks folks around, he knows he's not wanted in the bar. <laughs> Thanks. Whenever Matt walks into the canteen, Juan gets up and leaves. Seriously, this schoolboy feud isn't helping anyone. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on, the meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly, like fucking Christmas at my family home. You are, you fucking liar. Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dark started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can re-establish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So, you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. The whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was gonna send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Too bad you handed it over to the civilians. We could've used it. Doesn't matter now, Ro. 
At least we don't have to worry about electricity anymore. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Rogue. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who effed you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass. And wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tonsils. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Aiden? I hear Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. Oh, hey, it's you. You're still here. Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Roe Meyer, they're solid. But Jack and Juan, they're destined to stab you in the back. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the Night Runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Aw, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning. And it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. OK, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. You're doing the right thing. Bro, I'll be there as soon as I can. Something came up. Hurry, Aiden. We're all waiting for you. Frank, are you alive, man? Huh? Ravik? I told you to fucking leave me alone. Now it's me, Aiden. Who? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Tell me about the VNC Tower. We were so close back then, Aiden. So close. Despite what the others said. <laughs> I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. But it was a bloodbath, Aiden. A bloodbath.
Frank, how do I get to the rooftop? We went in without a full team. <laughs> Bastards. If they'd only had faith and stuck with me. But one lost faith and let the others astray. <coughs> who was that? A Judas. That's who. If it wasn't for Rav... <clears throat> Past is dead. So they say. <laughs> what matters is... <sighs> that was the end of the Night Runners. Okay, but how can I get to the rooftop? <laughs> you can't. Nobody can. Now, fuck you. What the hell? Come on, Frank, pull yourself together. Luan told me to ask you about the tower. Why you want to know about that, hello? I'm going to climb the VNC tower. What can you tell me about it? That it'll kill you, you idiot. You will die like everyone else. Like all of my friends. Frank, help me. How can I get to the top of the tower? You can. Nobody can, not without power. Got it. Electricity. It's your only hope. Aiden, we need you like now. Aiden, for fuck's sake, move your ass and get over here. On my way. Over. Plane. We're alive, and that's what counts. Sometimes I wake up at night. <coughs> You are mad. Yeah, you're good. I mean, I'm telling you. You know us night runners. We. <laughs> Already waiting for you, pilgrim. Secret talks in the canton. Bad numbers. Lily door. 
The VNC Tower is headquarters to the Villador News Corporation TV channel. Measuring 310 meters in height, it is one of the tallest buildings in Europe. Its observation deck presents a magnificent view of the city, from the skyscrapers of the business district to the castle, Elysium, and Old Villador. VNC programs are watched by millions of viewers every day. They are broadcast around the globe and have been translated into many languages. The station earned its viewers' trust through reliable and professional reporting and award-winning documentaries. Recently, in a bid to grow their audience, the VNC began producing tabloid content and launched several entertainment channels. This spurred protests by some of its more traditional viewers, culminating in the incident known as Brian's Ultimatum. 38-year-old Brian Nedelec barricaded himself in the offices of the reality show Villador Shore, insisting that the program be immediately cancelled, or he would jump out of a window. Let us honor his memory with a moment of silence. VNC Television is an official partner of the Villador Office of Tourism. Coming soon to the VNC, the 17th season of Villador Shore, which will bring you romance, betrayal, lies, and love. Lots of love. I'll definitely be tuning in. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... Oh, fuck me. It's row. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for you. Just leave it and get out now. <laughs> Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro.
Bro, I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blood god. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Bro. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Ro, I'm here. The power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. I think I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work.
Right. I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the 8th floor. Sorry, Ro. He... he didn't stand a chance. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I... I know you really tried to help them. What is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Well, you're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So you have some time for a nap or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. <laughs> 